What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I wanted to show you a really simplified version of a regroup. Um, this is a great one to use if you're working with younger players or uh, maybe players that aren't as experienced with system play. Um, it can also be effective for older players. Um, you know, as you get into the older, more advanced age groups, sometimes it's good to have more than one variation of, uh, you know, of regroups or of breakouts or four checks, etc. So uh, definitely a good tool to add to the tool belt, and uh, I'll show you how it works. So this one is called the post-up regroup. That's what I call it. At least you can make up a different name if you want to. Uh, post-up regroup, and the reason why is because um, we have the wingers posting up on this. So on this particular regroup, I do typically designate positions. Um, so we usually have the wingers stay wide on this one and then the centerman provides middle support. So basically all that happens, we'll just assume that the defenseman, uh, you know, puck came out, defensemen have been backing up, uh, looking up ice for possible passing options. Now we've got our defenseman approximately right here. Um, the puck carrying defenseman has, has the puck, the other one is providing a little bit of backside support at an angle. And all we do is while this is happening, the wingers are coming out and looping back along the boards. Okay. Um, I like to throw in an inside reverse pivot here so that they're not taking their eye off the puck carrier. That allows them to be a passing option at any point throughout their, um, throughout their, uh, what, you know, their, their direction that they're going, uh, their course, I guess you could say. And same thing with the right wing over here. He loops out, never taking his eye off the puck so that he can be a passing option at any point along that, uh, that route. And uh, so then what's happening is the centerman's coming in, watching the play. Um, it's almost really similar to the breakout where the centerman is almost a shadow man of wherever the puck goes. He's following the puck slightly behind. And basically he's just waiting for the defenseman to commit. So everything really depends on what the defenseman end up doing with the puck. So let's just for this demonstration, let's say that the defenseman end up going D to D and then, uh, then moving it up to the board side winger here. Okay, so what the centerman will do in this case is he'll be watching, kind of providing support, then as he sees it's going D to D, he's going to kind of loop in, present himself as a potential passing option in the middle here, then as he sees that he's not going to be the one getting the puck, then he's going to continue on up the ice and become a support man for that winger. Now, when the winger gets the puck here, he can either enter the zone uh, on his own, or uh, often there will be another defenseman there that will be putting pressure on that winger as he sees that the puck is coming. So a little one-touch pass to the middle can be very effective in this situation. So if that's what happens, then basically the centerman is going to take the puck and he'll drive wide, becoming what? F1, right? If you remember our uh, offensive attack videos. Um, so the centerman will become F1 there. The right wing will ring, winger will read the play and become F2, driving wide. And then the left winger will uh, become the trailer man, following up to the inside shoulder of the puck carrier. And then, as you can see, we've got our, uh, our attack triangle, as usual. And we're entering the zone um, in a very effective positioning and setup. And uh, so that's the post-up regroup. Very basic, but uh, can be very effective in certain situations.